throw it down. Then cried a wise woman out of the city. Hear, hear, Shemai, Shemai, say, I pray you of the Joab, come near hither, come hither, that I may speak with thee. And when he was come near unto her, the woman said, Are thou Joab? Say, you Joab? And he said, and he answered, I am he. Then she said unto him, Hear the words of thine handmaid. And he answered, I do hear. I'm listening. <laughs> then she spake, saying, They were wont to speak in old times, saying, They shall surely ask counsel of at Abel. And so they ended the matter. And I am one of them that are peaceable and faithful in Israel. Thou seekest to destroy a city and a mother in Israel. Why would thou swallow up the inheritance of the Most High? Why are you going to kill your own people? In other words. And Joab answered and said, Far be it, far be it from me that I should swallow up or destroy the matter is not so, but a man of Mount Ephraim, Sheba the son of Bishri, by name, have lifted up his hand against the king, even against David. Deliver him only, and I will depart from the city. And the woman said unto Joab, Behold, his head shall be thrown to thee over the wall. Hear that? The woman said unto Joab, Behold, his head shall be thrown to thee over the wall. Gonna cut his head off and throw it over the wall. Then the woman went unto all the people in her wisdom. And they cut off the head of Sheba, the son of Bishri, and cast it out to Joab. And he blew a trumpet. And they retired from the city, every man to his tent. And Joab returned to Jerusalem unto the king. He cut his head off and threw it over the wall. She said to Joab. Now Joab was over all the host of Israel. He was over all the army of Israel. And Benaniah, son of Joadah, was over the Cherishites and over the Prelethites. And Dunaram was over the tribute. And Jehoshaphat, the son of the Helud, was recorder. So the tribute is like taxes, and and the recorder is like a scribe, writing things down. And Shiva was scribe, and Zadok and Abathar were the priests. And Ira, also the Zerite, was a chief ruler over about David. So now I want to go to uh, 1 Kings 2 and 28. 1 Kings... First Kings two and twenty-eight. So you see it's war all in a, our nation. Backstabbing, snitches, all that. First Kings two and twenty-eight. Like they did with the Mashak of Shai. Peter denied him three uh what three times, yeah, before the rooster crowed. He said, it was, most when they came, you know, it was, they all, everybody ran. 1 Kings 2, 28. Then Titus came to Joab. For Joab had turned after Adonijah, though he turned not after Absalom. And Joab fled unto the tabernacle of the Most High and caught hold on the horns of the altar. So he caught hold, he's running, so he caught on the horns of the altar. And it was told King Solomon that Joab was fled unto the tabernacle of the Most High. And behold, he is, he is by the altar. Joab by the altar. So remember what, what King David, go back, let's go back to what King David told King Solomon. Go back to 1 Kings 2 and 1. Now the days of David drew nigh that he should die. And he charged Solomon his son, saying, I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. Be hard. Be a man. And keep the charge of the Most High thy power. 
to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and his testimonies as it is written in the law of Moses that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest and whatsoever thou turnest thyself. But we know Solomon started getting with these other nations, women, and built idol temples to them and started worshiping their gods, their idols. That the Most High may continue his word with he, which he spake concerning me, saying, If thy children take heed to their way, to walk before me in truth, in the laws of the Most High, with all their heart, all their mind, and with all their soul, their character, there shall not fall, fail, excuse me, fail thee, said he, a man on the throne of Israel. Moreover, thou knowest, this is what he said, Moreover, thou knowest also what Joab, the son of Zeruiah, did to me, and what he did to the two captains of the host of Israel, unto Abner, the son of Ner, and unto Amasa, the son of Jether, whom he slew, and shed the blood of war and peace, and put the blood of war upon his girdle that was about his loins, and in his shoes that were on his feet. And we know that he had a part in killing David's son Absalom. So, but show kindness unto the sons of Bezalah, the Gileadite, and let them be of those that eat at thy table. For so they came to me when I fled because of Absalom thy brother. So they took care of him. He was fleeing for Absalom. His own son tried to kill him. Want to be king, want that power, right? But hear what he said concerning Absalom. Verse 6 Do therefore according to thy wisdom, and let not his whore head, that's his gray head, go down to the grave in peace. Don't let him go down, don't let him die in peace. So now, we're looking at uh, 1 Kings 2 28. Then Titus came to Joab, for Joab had turned after Adonijah, though he turned not after Absalom. And Joab fled into the tabernacle of the Most High and caught hold on the horns of the altar. See, so he hold on to the horns of the altar, scared. And it was told King Solomon that Joab was fled unto the tabernacle of the Most High. And behold, he is by the altar. He is by the altar. Then Solomon said, Benaniah, the son of Jehoiada, 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 saying, go, fall upon him. You say, go, and what? Go and kill him. Put him to death. Kill him. And Benaniah, came to the tabernacle of the Most High and said unto him, Thus said the king, Come forth. And he said, Nay, no. But I would die here. And Benaniah, and Benaniah, Oh, you're going to die here, huh? Okay. Brought the king word again, saying, Thus said Joab. And thus he answered me. And the king said unto him, do as he has said. He said he's going to die there. Do as he has said. And fall upon him and bury him. Kill him and bury him. That thou mayest take away the innocent blood. Which Joab said. From me. And from the house of my father. And the most I shall return his blood upon his own head. Who fell upon two men more righteous than righteous and better than he. And slew them with the sword. My father David, not knowing thereof, to wit, Abner the son of Ner, captain of the host of Israel, and Amasa, the son of Zether, captain of the host of Judah. Their blood shall therefore return upon the head of Joab. See, their blood gonna return upon the head of Joab for him killing them, and upon the head of his seed forever. But upon David, and upon his seed, and upon his house, and upon his throne, 
shall there be peace forever from the Most High. So Benaniah, son of Jehoiada, went up and fell upon him and slew him. So he went up and he killed him, Joab. And he was buried in his own house in the wilderness. And the king put Benaniah, the son of Jehoiada, in his room over the host, took his place over the host, over the army. And Zadok, the priest, did the king put in the room of Ab Abiathar. So that's Joab, the end of Joab. You, know, you had men that were the royal guards, like the Cherethites that we read about in the Paralethites, they were the royal guard. You had those that were royal to King David. You had those that were unfaithful to him. But you see, that's this is our people. That's what I say. When you go to our nation, you find that we have all these traitors and people that are looking for the same position that someone else have or feel that they are they're more worthy and sometimes it was taken out as we read about them. that's a little on Joab I hope that was interesting I hope you will kind of get an idea of where we come from a bunch of whew, crazy people but the most I still say he loved Jacob. We still got those that are gonna be the same way, then, now, and forever, till the most I eradicate evil and wickedness off this world. And with that, I'm out. Shalom.